love to have you here. Yeah. Welcome, guys. Uh, thank you very much. Well, uh, what have you been doing so far in, in Norway? <laughs> no, not really much. Uh, I, was, I was coming through the airport and I got pulled in. Uh, for the customs? In customs, yeah, yeah customs kind of pulled me in. I, I was wearing like this big black hat and I had my big jacket on and I was looking so tired. And you seen the guy standing, he was like, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Straight over, you know, because we have musicians, I suppose, that goes along with the territory. Uh, but he was like, he was looking in my pockets and he checked this pocket, checked that pocket, checked the same pocket again, opened up my cigarettes. Or, like he took out the cigarettes, put them back in. I was like, do you want to open the cigarettes? Maybe I might hide something in there. You never know. I was being very helpful with him. Um, he said, do you get pulled over very often? I said, well, probably about 20 times a year. He's like, 20 times a year? Oh, my God, I'm going to have to put this thing through the x-ray. So uh, I said, <laughs> what he didn't really realise is that we fly, like, literally, like, 200 planes a year. Yeah. So I was well, well used to this as well. But uh, I was, it was everything. Like, the dogs came in and everything. Uh, did you get the glove? <laughs> <laughs> Did you, did, you not, did you not see me walking? Did you not see the way I was walking? I was like walking over here like... <laughs> but they had, uh, they, had, they had sniffer dogs too. Yeah, they literally had they sniffer had dogs. Sniffer, sniffer dogs, dogs like, came straight over and was like sniffing around here. Okay. I was like, it, don't worry about it. It's probably smelling my own dog. And the guy was like, what were you doing with your dog that it was around there? <laughs> That's a story for another time. Was it always him? <laughs> it's, it's normally me. I it's have, normally you. Yeah, I have the, the mug shot for people wanting to stop me, but for some, because they went and stopped him, they completely let me walk past, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, they seen me going off and they were like, quick, quick, get through, get through. <laughs> you know, it's funny. It happened to me in Australia and they stopped me and they said, uh, do you have any criminal records? And I said, I didn't think I still needed one to get into Australia. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> but you're, you're, you're from Dublin, Ireland. Yes. And uh, yes. you're extremely su successful. You sold 5 million albums and 15 yeah. million albums. Yeah, and now you're touring uh, big stadiums all over the world. And then, yeah. But you, do you remember the, your first gig? The first gig was amazing. Um, it was uh, in a place called the Sugar Club in Dublin, and it holds 200 people. And uh, at our first gig, there was about 64 people, and most of them were our families that we invited. All, all, all of them were. <laughs> that we paid to come down. Um, and it was fantastic, you know, we were very nervous. I think we were pretty crap. We couldn't play in time. No, um, still can't. We still can't, well, <laughs> most of the time. But we went from that actual gig to doing a show literally about 10 minutes away up the road to, what was it, 50,000 people? 55,000 yeah. 55, yeah. people, yeah. Oh, incredible. Four years later, yeah. yeah. Nice feeling. Yeah, yeah. 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 When we talk about Ireland, Christian, do you, uh, do you imitate any Irish people? Oh, God. Yeah? <laughs> uh, For the guys? Well, I did years ago. The first one was, um, uh, It's amazing how to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very good. And then I also had the moves, of course. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But then I actually, I met uh, Liam Neeson in a radio show in, uh, in Los Angeles, and he, w he said he was so tired of people walking up to him after the movie Taken. Yeah. Yeah. Because he said, they were always like, oh, please, can you do that line on my answering machine? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he was so tired of it, and he just gave me the phone and said, you do it. And I said, well, listen, I don't know who you are, but I will find you, and I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just hung up. <laughs> but that's about it I know about our own. You guys are, uh, I believe you guys are huge fans of U2 as well, are you? We're huge fans Both. of U2, yeah. 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 And you're from Dublin. Do you, do you hang out with them? We know, that, we know the lads really well. We've got quite a few funny stories. That Danny, at one point, uh, we had met. Uh, we met U2 at one point, first time in our career to really meet these guys. And I fortunately got sat right across from Edge. And uh, it was me and Edge just talking away. And, of course, I was burning his ear about recording and, you know, <laughs> what way do you record everything. And I could see Danny across the table. He wasn't with any of them. So I knew that I was having this conversation with Edge and he was getting all jealous. And the more he got drunk, he, he, decided, <laughs> I was, I was like, <laughs> he was going crazy. And he, he decided to walk to my table to sit down and talk to me and Edge, but there was no chair. And he literally sat down and just went <laughs> falling on his ass. You know? <laughs> and then proceeded to pick him up. And then he fell down the stairs shortly after that too, right in front of Bono as well. I took, so, 12, nice. I took 12 steps on my knees. We were like, okay, we're all going to a nightclub. He was like, he is not going anywhere with <laughs> So I turned around, I was like, see you guys, boom, 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 boom. And I took 12 steps on my knees, mm. big lump of bones lying on the ground to turn around. All you two were like, ha, ah, see ya. Have you guys ever met them? Never. No. Yeah, well, yeah. we have actually, we in have. a way, but it's... About 29 yeah. seconds. <laughs> yeah. But well, not like yours, guys. Would, you like, would you like us call? to give them a call? Say hi to them? Or or you I don't know if it's going to work. We'll give them a call. Give them a ring. He's coming in the studio right now, I think. Yeah. Can we do that? Is that, Is that cool? okay? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. You guys want to write that? And I'll scroll down. There you go, Bono. You too. Give him a call. All right, Bono calls everybody from stage, so we figure wherever we go, we're going to call yeah. Bono. Yeah. <laughs> Can you pick this up? On the TV Can you pick this up if yeah, he, he answers? If he answers, yes. if he answers yeah. you have to, you have to give, it, give us like, his number. OK, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Put it in your mic, maybe. I think. Bono, where's that money you owe me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he probably would just tell us to F off. Yeah, call we're going to go, fuck it off. Okay. Turn on Can you hear that? It's ringing. Hello? Hey, is this Bono? Bono, can you hear me? Hey, Danny. Yeah, man. Listen, where are you now? Uh, I, I'm in Dublin with the lads. Uh, we're, we're recording a new album. Where are you guys? We're on, uh, we're on the, the Harold and Thomas show. You know the guys from Norway? Oh, yeah, Harold and Thomas show. Them two fucking clowns, man. They... <laughs> <laughs> You're famous. Here, he do you want, would you, will you talk to them? I will in my shite. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Even Bono won't speak to the lads. He hung, he hung up. Terrible. He's gone. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. You have to give us his best. <laughs> Fantastic. But we still look forward to hearing you play. <laughs> Later on the show. Thank Great you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.